Welcome back to another video, and I'm trying another new background, uh, this time with a crazy looking face, um, kinda, almost, I don't know, it's a disposal thing, so, um, I don't know how to describe what I'm what I'm seeing. Um, like the red parts is like wings, and it's like a. But it's also if I take take out the the. Not take out. Uh, separate. The two well it's at and just move the image. To separate it, it would literally come up to be a face. Like, it has an eye, has a nose, has a mouth. <laughs> and this one is just as... It's more squished. Uh, um... Yeah. Well, this excellent, like... If you still had it long enough, you'll like see like three different things. So that's that's fun. Trippy. Yep, gonna lead with that. Trippy. But that's not what we're here for. We he are here for this. I cannot slow the intro down. I've tried. And this is as best as I can get it. Oh, you can say I am back to Doing some fractal animations and images. Um, I did. I have made it quite a few. Um, how it how there was no method to creating fractals. You just press a button, see what works, keep pressing buttons, and yeah, that that's pretty much it and see what works. Do you know what you're going to make? For me, nope. It just happens. And a person told me that I was basically crazy because he said something like your spirit led you to create it whether you knew it or not. And I'm like, um, sure. I just press buttons and see what works. I plan for nothing. Uh, yeah, that, that, trippy. Now that that whole intro is out of the way, I've gotten some uh, comments like from like a year or so ago, like a long time ago, and I want to say they feel the need to encourage me but when I see other people comment on videos that I follow or photos that I follow do I think this person the creator needs these people to encourage them all the time 
w what do I mean? Um, this happened, I'm gu guessing, like two years ago. Someone basically told me that they added me to push me to design my videos better, and I'm like, you can't really edit a vlog. It is what it is, and he was peeved that I was not editing anything, and I, I basically said to him, there's really no reason for me to edit my videos because it's a blog. There is really no need to edit those type of videos. Uh, for me, there's really no way to edit when you have no idea how to draw what you're seeing in your head. By that, I literally mean from the trances. Okay, example. So, I was, uh, my back is to a waterfall and I'm sitting on the ground meditating. Well, am I going to find a photo to show that and put that in the video? If I'm not an artist, I cannot draw. Do I know anyone who can? Nope. Therefore, I can't animate it and I can't video edit it in Photoshop it in whatever. And the guy is like posting me to stylize my videos and all this edit in stuff and I'm like it is just a simple talking video. Do I need edits? No. Because there are plenty of spirit bloggers out there who do not edit their stuff other than audio, maybe. For me, I've tried audio editing, failed horribly, yet showed, and I don't audio edit anymore. That is the only edit I have ever done, not video. So basically, I was trolled for not editing my stuff, and I'm like, okay, I can put a border and a background image in the video. Is that an edit? I don't know, because I blocked the troll who was mad at me for not doing anything, and... I explained to him why I don't edit, and he kept going on about how I need to edit, and that I should edit, and he would not stop. So, yeah, I had to cut him loose, um, but that's like, that's basically just a troll, uh, the, the only other type of person who would comment to me to give encouragement was they felt the need to give me encouragement. However, as a YouTuber, you're supposed to, well in my opinion, if you see a post that you like, if you follow them and you like what they do, tell them. Maybe tell them repeatedly on new posts as they come out. I have seen that happen before and you would expect your fans to comment on your stuff, whether it's a thumbs up, a heart, give your thoughts, feedback, criticize, criticism, Again, feedback, not trolling, because trolling is not criticism. Insults are not criticism, 
And yeah. So for me, as a, a person of light, you would expect your fans to support you all the time. Not like a one-off thing. Because that's kind of just fake, in my opinion. Like, say it once to never be heard from again. It's like... I, I get I get it. You you stalk the person, you you're shy, you don't really want to interact and I've had many people comment to I respond back and to this day they never wrote back and I'm like So you started a conversation to not continue with it. Question marks? Like why? So it's like, but again, it goes back to, you expect your fans to say stuff, whatever it is. Um, but since I only have like less than 10 people who actually follow my stuff, there's not really a lot of communicating going on. And that weighs heavy on your mind because you expect people to respond to what you're given rather than you feel like you're wasting your breath, wasting your time and energy because no one is saying anything, whatever that could be, they just watch it? Did they watch the whole thing? I don't know. And that's the, the real struggle. Not knowing if they watch the whole video. Do they just drop in, drop out? I don't know. No one has told me, so you are left in the dark. But then again, I am comparing myself to a person who has 1 million subscribers. No, actually he has 3 million. He has 3 million subscribers. And he has comments out the wazoo. On all his videos. And he's a light worker. He has feedback like, oh this really helped me. I love it. Keep it up. Parts, uh, other comments, I'm sure, uh, like, I don't know, something like, this really changed my perspective, this really changed my mind, something. So that's why I said comment anything, whatever that may be. But for me, I can't read your minds, I don't know who is watching me. Again, and I only have comments from like three people only. One I know doesn't support the channel because he's not spilled soul. He told me that he he told me that in the beginning, but as time went on, that is now annoying me. Because he only really spoke about how I could improve my Photoshop skills with adding wings, but when it comes to other stuff, you either get under my skin or you don't really say anything at all other than a crying emote. Like... Sometimes I need a person to speak back to me rather than just me at them. But again, that, that kind of falls under the category of say anything or respond rather than just listen. But then again, I'm a different person, so therefore I must be insane because... No one is really understanding what I need, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, oh, uh, well, okay, here, here's an example. I, I, I tell you something that is 
on my mind. You either listen, say nothing at all, you, or you relate and tell your side of the story, or you say something like, hey, don't worry about it, or something. I don't know, because it's been years since I've had a conversation like that. And then again, I watch a lot of anime, though, for feelings. And no one wants to talk about feelings, so... But wait, that uh, that's not the whole point, because it happened in other cartoons these days, such as Ruby, Rick and Morty, um... You're having a conversation with a person, whether you're having a bad day, saying you you got the job, you're you're responding, you're listening, you're giving feedback, you're doing all this rather than just sitting there and just doing this. Yep, yeah, I hear you. Continue. Like I don't need that. I mean, say something, but. Then, uh, I know, I know, people don't know what to say, people are shy, because I did have this one person tell me, sorry, I'm too afraid to say anything to you, because I'm that shy, and I'm like, okay, you're kind of odd, and then he made a whole fuss about it, and then I had to punish him. Basically, it was a weird roleplay thing, and I do not want to experience that ever again. Um, yeah, I didn't know he was into that until that happened, and I'm like, I'm out. Um... But yes, I am I comparing myself to anime, to any cartoon, to TV? Maybe. Then again, feelings, who talks about them? No one. So you're just sitting there listening, but I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're feeling. I can't read your mind. And then that, that also hits me about... How I talk about what I'm thinking, but do you know what I'm vibing? Do you know what I am feeling? But wait, no one talks about your emotions. You just expect them to know what you're thinking. But wait, I want you to know what I'm feeling without me explaining myself. Because over explaining, reading your mind, it doesn't work. Mind readers. It doesn't help. It makes things worse. So, know what I'm feeling, Father than just think. You have to feel. Kind of a, a weird mm, video vibe today. I'm so off because I haven't been sleeping well. I thought that weird energy shift thing was done. Nope. Came back for a third time. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, um, don't know if anyone's still here, considering it is a 20 minute video, but if you're still here, you can always reach out, matches, comments, because half the time, I don't know your username. Or you're not on YouTube to comment. Therefore, reach me on Instagram, Discord, or comment below. Until we meet again. Going to play this one more time. <laughs>